everyone so this is going to be the very first episode i don't even know what to call this segment of ask tanya welcome Woo i have no formalities here because i want this to be very very natural and organic okay so if you guys are new to my channel welcome i am a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and i teach you beautiful people how to understand your hair ingredients products all from a cosmetic chemist perspective and i also help entrepreneurs start hair care lines and i have three questions today that i received in my ex tanya box on my website if you want to submit your question to get it featured in a video definitely you know check out the link below you can submit it there but i have a question the first question is from maria b hey girl um she says thank you for sharing so many great information on your channel what do you recommend for an itchy scalp my scalp is itchy with so many different products it gets irritated very easily i can't use tea tree lavender mint etc what would you suggest i don't have any flakes or signs of eczema okay maria i love your question an itchy scalp is actually pretty common especially with our hair type and just hair in general scalp in general so a few things come to mind well two things come to mind the first thing is it could be a dry scalp a lot of time an itchy scalp is like one of the symptoms of a dry scalp so i recommend doing a few things and i just did a video on this so you can get more information on it um in the when you go i'll put it below um you want to do aloe vera juice scalp massages this is an option you can do and the great thing about aloe vera juice scalp massage is that it helps to regulate the scalp it helps to treat the scalp especially if it's ph related meaning sometimes if the ph is too high on the scalp it can irritate the scalp so i recommend doing that next time maria when you do your shampoo when your hair is freshly clean and washed and all the things just take some aloe vera juice like pour it on your scalp and massage it into your scalp. That should help tremendously. You wanna do this for the next few wash days until you see an improvement. Another thing I would do too, is if you can get your hands on the Pattern Beauty Scalp Serum. I recommend this product pr quite often because it has water, aloe vera juice, it has glycerin in it, and it's just really, really hydrating on the scalp. So that should help tremendously. Now I will say there is a little bit of peppermint in there, but it's towards the bottom of the ingredient list. So it's not in your at a substantial amount, but I would still give that a shot. The second thing I would say to you, Maria, is it could be um, product buildup. So if you don't effectively cleanse your scalp, or if you're not exfoliating your scalp, because that can be a thing too, it can lead to product buildup and that can also lead to that itchiness. So I do recommend if you can clarify your scalp at least once a month, and you can do this with an apple cider vinegar rinse. That'll help tremendously, not only for your scalp, but your hair as well. Okay, the second question I have is from Miss Kayla and Kayla says, hello, Miss Tanya. I've been swimming all of my life for 16 years in the indoor pool. While and after swimming, my scalp is usually dry, doesn't suck in moisture. Instead, my hair feels squeaky and slippery when I do apply moisture, not in a good way. I swim three hours every day with a swim cap and only leftover styling products in my hair. And was wondering what hair care routine could I please follow to lock in the moisture and keep my hair growing and healthy. Thank you. All right, hey Kayla, so thank you for submitting your question. Three things come to my mind for you. So when it comes to like swimming, you know, I always recommend putting some type of leave-in conditioner on the hair itself. But for your case, when it comes to being, you know, swimming with your swim cap and all those things, if you can apply a little bit of a liquid leave-in conditioner to your scalp, that'll help tremendously when it comes to increasing that hydration and also adding a little bit of your favorite carrier oil like avocado, jojoba oil to your scalp on top of that liquid leave-in conditioner. And for your hair itself, even though it does have like leftover styling products, I do recommend doing a moisturizing treatment that day as well. So you didn't mention how often you moisturize your hair, but that could be something where when you do 
go swimming, make sure that your hair is moisturized. You know, use your favorite moisturizer and seal with a oil on top of that. You can put your hair in twists underneath the cap to kind of set the hair to help with that moisturization. The second thing I recommend is do deep conditioner. Deep conditioners are a great way to increase the hydration of the hair. So if you can do that at least once every two weeks, that would be ideal. And I would do that for the next two months until you see an improvement when it comes to moisturization of your hair. And as far as like just developing a healthy routine where your hair is healthy and growing, tons of videos here on YouTube where I talk about moisturization and growing our hair. So definitely check those out. Um, if you do want to connect one on one, I do have a consulting service as well with me, you can connect and talk more about your hair and get you a customized regimen as well. So if you're interested in that, I'll put the link below for you. Okay, the next question we have is from Miss Charmaine. I love your name Charmaine because that's my middle name. Um, Charmaine says I am 100% natural and have been for eight years. Why does the center of my scalp the crown tender at times. So it can be a number of things. The few things that come to my mind is number one, it could be internal where it could be, it could be inflammation. There could be some irritation there. So what I would recommend in that case is really just being mindful of just what you're eating because a healthy diet will take away a lot of inflammation within our body and a lot of inflammation that shows up in our body You'll typically see it in your scalp as well, whether it's external, like soreness, like redness, or just tender to the touch. So it could be, it could be inflammation. I would also recommend doing scalp massages at night, like take your favorite carrier oil and just massage your scalp to get that blood flow going, get that circulation going, that could help as well. And then the second thing that I want to mention is your styling. So pay attention to what type of styling you're doing. Is there anything pulling? at this area or causing any tension or trauma in that area, that can be some issues as well. And then the third thing that I would also recommend doing is uh, getting your vitamin D levels checked, your iron levels checked, just these common nutrients, believe it or not, play a huge role not only in our hair health, but our scalp health as well. So those are my recommendations for you, Charmaine. Try those out, but keep me posted as well. All right, guys, hope you have enjoyed this first segment episode of Ask Tanya. Once again, if you want to get your questions answered on this video, well, not this video, but the next Ask Tanya, check out the Ask Tanya question box in the link below. You can submit your question there. And once I select your question, I will email you letting you know like, hey, I got your question. I'm answering it on this day. And if you already submitted your question, stay tuned because I will be answering your question in upcoming videos of this Ask Tanya segment, okay? And if you wanna learn more about your hair from a cosmetic chemist perspective, products, ingredients, all the things, check out these amazing curly chemistry resources over here. I'll put the link below for you as well. Um, if you wanna connect with me one-on-one -on -one about your hair challenges, which you're experiencing, you can talk on the phone, video, via email, and um, I can create a customized regimen for you, give you some product suggestions specifically for your hair. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, no matter where you are, let's connect one-on-one -on -one to bring your ideas to fruition. All right, guys, I love you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.